Matt Cullen is one of the most prominent hockey players to come from Minnesota. And throughout our Hockey Day history, Matt and his family have been a consistent focus. In 2007, during our inaugural Hockey Day Minnesota, we featured Matt, who was fresh off of winning a Stanley Cup championship with the Carolina Hurricanes. Four years later, he signed with the Wild. And that same year, Hockey Day was held in his hometown of Moorhead. The Cullen family was a major part of that event, including a spotlight on Matt's charity, Cully's Kids. The foundation assists children's health care organizations in the Fargo-Moorhead area. In 2016, Matt was on his way to a second Stanley Cup title, this one with Pittsburgh, when he took time out on Hockey Day with his kids for some hockey how-tos. Two years later, Matt returned home to play for the Wild again. We spent part of Hockey Day at the Cullen household, where Matt and his three boys played hockey on his backyard rink. Nice play. Later that night, Matt was part of a big wild win to cap off the eventful day, and he reached a milestone, recording his 700th career point. I absolutely love Hockey Day. I think it's one of the best ideas I've seen in my entire career. I, I just think it's such a cool thing. I mean, to celebrate the outdoor game, I, I don't think you could have any more fun. Yeah, baby! Minnesota is just such a great hockey state, and uh, so to be able to be a part of that hockey history has been just awesome. Hockey Day Minnesota, driven by Polaris, continues from the Oval in Roseville. I'm Marnie Gellner with Mark Parrish. And Mark, there are people who make an impact in our lives, sometimes because they're great hockey players, sometimes because they become great friends, sometimes because they're both, like Matt Cullen is to you. I absolutely love the Cullen man. I love this guy. You know, the thing that blew me, blew me away about Cully early on, and I knew I had to follow him, was he had books in his dorm room about hockey and how to get the edge on hockey. He fell in love with the process, and he's just a great man. His work ethic, obviously, uh, I, I do like to rub it in, the, the, the lack of a state championship, and I'm going to take that moment right now. But then again, he did win three Stanley Cups, so he's kind of <laughs> got that on me. But, but this guy, just everything, class, everything he does on the ice, everything he does off the ice, he is just a great, great human being. I thought you were just going to leave it as he had books in his dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. No, there, there was actually a purpose to the books. <laughs>